trap. Here we go. Let's dive in. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Lady Raven. Time I shoot. No dad jokes. This is serious. Come on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why was that a dad joke? Hard man. That's the whole point of dad jokes. Thank you. Thank you. This is literally the best day of my life. Literally the best day of her life. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rihanna vibes. What's with all the police trucks outside? The camera's everywhere, Jamie. I'm not supposed to tell. What? Something happened. <laughs> Don't rat me out. I won't. You know the butcher? The freaking nut job that goes around just chopping people up? Well, the feds or whatever heard that he's gonna be here today. So they set up a trap for him. This whole concert? It's a trap. It's bait. They're watching all the exits, checking everyone that leaves. There's no way to get out of here. Did you hear what he said? There's no way to get out of here. That feels... He's the butcher guy! Oh, oh. I'm sorry, Riley. What was that? Your daughter is never going to forget this day. That makes sense why he would pay attention to the police presence. Mm -hmm. You're kind of dope, right? <laughs> <laughs> Kind of has like talented Mr. Ripley vibes. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Except I think I will probably. And there's a like Kevin Con one. word. And there's also a Kevin Costner movie where he's a like a assassin, not but he's like a serial killer. Serial killer. And then this he this he was about to kill someone, but then he ends up like befriending the guy, and the guy like wants to learn his ways and stuff like that. What movie is this? Uh, I forget the name of it, but you just look up Kevin Ka Costner serial killer movie. Yeah, yeah. it'll come. It'll That'll come. come up. But uh, no, this reminds me kind of interesting, like uh, you know, killer in plain sight, mm -hmm. you know, like uh, type of feeling. And that, yeah, uh, so I will watch this. Uh, yeah, same here. I, watch. I literally had no i no idea what we were what we were going into because I was like trap M night. There's a concert. I'm like. Is the musician trying to trap everybody? Like, what's, you know, I had no idea. But to see this movie from the view of the serial killer mm -hmm. and a part of you, I'm sorry, immediately, maybe it's just how they do things. Immediately, a part of me is like, is he going to get away? How's he going to do this? And then humanizing him with having my daughter and mm -hmm. showing him as a loving father. Mm -hmm. I'm sold. I don't know. A loving father leaves your 13 year old by themselves at their seat. Loving father. I don't know. Loosely, loosely used. Loosely parent. <laughs> loosely parenting. <laughs> oh yeah, she's thirteen, right? I don't know. She had to be that kind of age. Like thirteen range. to fifteen. Fifteen right. almost seems kind of old, mean, though, yeah. for what she's for what you know what I mean. Like yeah. I, I do feel thirteen, maybe. You're right. What are you doing? Like just, you just and they have floor seats. You think you're the only serial killer in there? Hello. <laughs> no, you all go together. You all go together. Okay, I have to. I, yes, the answer is yes. Mm -hmm. We're going to watch this for yeah, I'll sure. I'll give this a watch for sure. I'm down. What about you guys? Are you interested? Because I know some people 
you know, for, you know, M. Night, for some people, is hit and miss. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. For me, he's mostly he's more hit than miss. Nice. Now, I can count on one hand okay. the movies that I have not enjoyed that he's done. Okay. So. Okay. Heck yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. On to the next one. Boom. Boom.